Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raina. If you're new here, then welcome. Welcome to today's Lancome shopping haul. Christmas holiday season's happening and money just been, ch -ch 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 -ch, been spent on all this stuff. So recently Lancome had released their holiday gift sets and then they also had a gift with purchases on their website and then with shop back or cash rewards there is a 20% of cash rewards so you having this 20% off by gift with purchases and then I pick up there 2023 Christmas edition box this year they have I am really really exciting receiving this and I had a quick look I actually really enjoyed everything in this box Lancome and Estee Lauder they tend to do this every year and I tend to buy one brand every alternative years so Lancome I think I got Estee Lauder last year so I'm going for Lancome this year I might go back to Estee Lauder last year's Estee Lauder was heavy on makeup so I'm really looking for some skincare heavy one which is exactly what Lancome provides so without further ado let's just dive into today's video if you like a good oh, shopping haul and you like to see what I purchased and what's in this uh, limited edition box let's just continue watching and don't forget to give this video a like and consider subscribe among all the new gift sets they're coming out in the year of 2023, this is a new release to product, which also having in a gift pack, so like this is a perfect time for me to pick up and try new things. And this one has got HP and 300 peptide cream, so it's a good multi-peptide cream. And then in this gift set, we have the full size cream here, and then we also have a 15 ml exactly the same cream, as well as a 10 ml serum and an eye cream. 5 ml eye cream so it's actually a quite generous like amount for the travel sizes they're given and that set retails for 199 and the rate the other reason why i purchased this one is because when you spend over 199 including you can get this box at a value price which is for 219 and this box is having a value of 760 so let's just open up this one and see what's inside i had the pre not a year last year the one before and it was a red box it was pretty gorgeous this year they have the rose gold design that is really pretty so you have this print on and then you have a little handle over here you've got a zipper coming with a rose gold color it's almost like a little suitcase. Um, I feel like it's bigger than my iPad Pro, but it's probably smaller than my laptop. So you open up like this. There's no other pockets inside, so it's just one big pouch, and they have everything. Pop it over here. You can easily take this cardboard out, and then you can reuse the case. I'm actually thinking putting this case more of a file folder case maybe along with my ipad and if i can put my laptop in like everything together it will be quite good handy one i still feel trying to figure out what i've got so in here we've got two lipsticks they're both full size one eye and face palette and then we have three toners one full size one travel size and another travel size We've got three absolute creams. They're both all travel sizes. And then a full size serum as well as a travel size fragrance. For the full size serum, we have their best seller use activating concentrate. We have in the 30 ml here. This is their all time best selling serum. And I do really enjoy this. Lancome serum versus the Estee Lauder serums not repair are two things that I really like. I can use them interchangeably and I love to have them in my skincare routine if I wasn't testing anything else. Um, and they're also giving the full size of their tonic lotion, the pink toner, tonic comfort. This is in 125 ml, I believe. Yeah. And then the travel size is a 50 ml, I think. So you can take the travel size when you're going for travel and you can actually depot it if you want to. This toner, it's okay. It's not my favorite because I reckon it's more of the emulsions. It's a bit too thick. 
my mom's really liking it and she's having a drier skin so if you have a drier skin you'll probably love it a lot more than me i tend to use it in the winter time and not every day every second day just trying to use something up but it does feel really good it's just a little bit heavy so i will probably pass both of this to my mom but the other travel toner is something that i'm really wanting to try if i can take it out this is their um double essence the clarifying sort of line i've got a mini travel sizes that came as a gift before which i think i've got another one in the free gift with purchases in this shopping haul as well so another 50 ml it's a decent size for you to use and to see whether you like it or not it's not too small but it's not a heavy a lot if you don't like it then we're getting into the absolute range this is their most expensive range we have two face creams and one eye cream we've got a rich cream and also a soft cream they're both in 50 ml size i have used their cream before and they're a mask in rich to wister cream that was really good if you're needing a very heavy moisturizing session this is definitely the one to go for. I do think the retail price when there's not on sale is a little bit expensive. I always wait until a sale or they're having gift sets and Lancome tend to have a lot. And remember the 20% cash rewards, then you're actually getting a discount among with everything else and then another discount of free gift as well. So I think it's a good deal. Then the eye cream, I have a full size of this eye cream. I wanted to start using it, but I might start using the travel size while I have it here. Then we're moving into the makeup session. I've got two matte lipsticks, both a full size. I've had a look of the shade and oh my God, that's definitely my shade. Last year, I think Lancome came out with cream lipsticks. And the one with Astro Lauder, they were definitely more creamy texture like the one on Mama Lips. I'm wearing a Lancome lipstick as well. Having the matte lipstick is a little bit risky because not everyone loving it, but you can easily pair with a gloss these days. I personally really enjoy the putting a matte lipstick in a limited edition because I feel like everyone just putting out the cream, the gloss, the shine, the glitter ones. And I actually just after the opposite because I have so many of those already. So we have their shade 295 in a drama matte formula this is the shade here it's like dried brownish rose color i'll insert swatch as well i'm just too nervous to swatch it now because it's so pretty and then we have another matte formula but it's called in inti matte like super matte i guess this is in the shade 299 I think this one is slightly more nudish compared to the other one. It's not red as strong as, but I definitely like the shade, the packaging, the matte packaging as well. Gorgeous. And then we have this eyes and face palette. I had a look and I have to say they're doing really good. This is their 2023 limited edition. We have 10 eyeshadows here and one blush color. Starting with the packaging, it's a cardboard packaging and I actually prefer this more than like the plastic ones. I just feel this color fits better if it's a cardboard and they have this print on. It's actually got a bit of 3D effect and when you open up, you have a mirror on one side and then all the shades over here. So we have 10 eyeshadows and a blush color. The eyeshadow is actually very neutral, which is good if you don't like both, but they do have a couple of intensive color if you want to have a drama night out look. And again, the blush, I think it's very universal. It can suit for a lot of skin tones. I like the color story. I like the design, the size of it. One complaint would be because it's cardboard and it's white, feel like over time, if I'm dipping my brush into it, I might stain the surroundings. So it's not crystal clean as how it's looking now. But nevertheless, I'm really happy receiving this. I can see myself using it. Not like the Estee Lauder one I keep comparing to last year's. I haven't used it because the color story is a little bit here and there. The last but on the list is something I was unable to take it out when I was looking at myself, which is that... Um, 
fragrance. I'm just going to try it one more time to see if you have any luck. This is their Ido fragrance, I think. I have travel sizes of this one. I don't think this is like the best that I like the most. Like I can't live without it. But I do really enjoy the scent. And I like how they not put in the... Is that the Bella Vista? They're like very popular ones like i had so many of the little travel sizes over the years from line cream so i'm really happy to put into something different so looking at everything in here i pretty much love it all i can see myself use it all if not myself someone in my family will be really enjoying not mention i've also got a free gift when i did this haul so i had the 20 percent off i had this offer to get this bag for a relatively cheaper limited edition and then i also have this pretty gift pack so i think there's 10 products or something in here again we have a travel size the pink tonic lotion and then we also we also have the absolute rose 80 this is another lotion as well this is a 50 ml both of these are 50 ml here so with the absolute range i pretty much have in a whole like set and again a little mini toner of the clarifying double essence this is a seven mil here tiny travel size and the fragrance again a multi lifter day oh this is actually their night cream 50 mil i've used that in my same line different products in my project pens it was pretty good a travel size mascara this is their lifting volumizing mascara i've got a waterproof one and it was pretty good two five mils use activating cream and concentrate serum as well as another absolute light cream in a five mil tiny bottle let me see how this jar looks oh gosh so cute it's tiny same size as like the eye one and then obviously their bacillar water eye removal um, makeup cleanser i really do like this one i don't think it worth the price but i liked receiving this if i ran out i would always go back and purchase the maybelline one but if i have this i'll just use this because it's just maybelline is as good as this one let's put it this way and also this little pouch here I'm hoping for Black Friday they would have a little bit better sales going on. Maybe bring back the gift with purchases or like a 20% off start store wide or something. So you can save extra some money. And if you happen to purchase enough, then you can get this limited box as well. So that is pretty much all for today's unboxing. Let me know what you reckon. What do you think of this limited edition 2023 Lancome Beauty Box? Is it worth the money? 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 Is it better than last year? Is it comparable to the Estee Lauder one? I haven't looked what they have with Estee Lauder just yet, but I've already checked this one and I really like the Lancome. So I'm just like, I'm, I've made up my mind. I'm not going to look at this one just in case I change it or I won't get both. But yeah, let me know what you reckon. Leave all your comments down below so we can chat along. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give me a like and consider subscribe. I do have a few out of my calendars unboxing. I'll leave them all over here. And there are a couple that I will just upload in December. I mean, if you're trying to see the first handed unboxing, it's probably already out on the internet by now, but I still got them. I will unbox it with you guys, show you guys my opinion so you can enjoy a little bit of holiday vibe in the month of December because I will do double uploads in the month of December, Monday and Friday every week. So you can enjoy maybe extra time with me, having a holiday vibes. Is that something you're after? That is enough for me for today. I hope you guys having a great time. Stay safe and stay positive. And I'll see you guys in my next